face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better. As of this week, we're gonna cover what you guys voted on on Twitter, which is the two Pokemon everybody was so sure was gonna get an exclusive form in Sun and Moon, being Solar Act of Turn. Well, we didn't get that. Kind of unfortunate. Though, that said, these two Pokemon are really cool. My third generation, Generation 3, when these two Pokemon was introduced, I was super pleased to use Solrock, actually, which was tremendously bad. But, quite frankly, they represent a very cool typing in Rock and Psychic, and are, as of this generation, alone in this. And what's really cool is that these two actually wall Primal Groudon, and that's definitely something I think at least is very interesting. And we're gonna go over the overarching themes, move pool, and over yeah, over how they function basically to see which one of these two really are better. And first off, we're gonna cover the typing itself, rock and psychic. One of the few typings where you have more weaknesses than resistances. Luckily, though, both Soul Rock and Lana Tone do have levitate as their ability, making ground immunity to them. So while it looks like they have a lot of issues, they at least resolve one of them. So resistance here, firefly, normal, poison, and psychic really really good solid combination as a whole while the weaknesses are really plenty here in bug dark ghost grass ground which are resolved steel and water two of these are really really tough or actually potentially three where you have priority in bug dark and water and always makes these pokemon less viable as a possible setup sweeper however defensively you cover a lot of things that rock naturally cover and have the immunity in ground and it's of course psychic resolve the fighting issue towards rocks so overall i would say this combination is really good defensively with their ability but overall it is lacking and there are a lot of common hits here that are to be adjusted for that said the combination itself really good and of course in ubers sol rock and lonatone due to as i stated here their time combination and ability actually wall our prime of ground and, and that is a very cool solid niche to the both of them. So with that said, we're gonna cover Lona Tone first. So Soul Rock and Lona Tone has similar stats yet peaks at different things. As Lona Tone represents the more specially orientated variant of this, and with that said, we have a really high HP stat of A90, 55 in its attack, 65 in its defenses, really aren't that much of a physical threat. From the special side, it does peak at 95 and 85 in special attack and special defense representatively. However, 70 base speed is kind of low but for being a defensively orientated rock type it is actually representing something speedier something like melodic for example you don't expect this pokemon with that defensive capabilities to be this speedy that said it isn't necessarily speedy enough to fill an offensive role but overall due to 90 hp 65 and 85 in its defenses actually represent a, a very respectable bulk and considering the combination it's fairly all right but it is to be said that it definitely needs some help in the speed here to become an offensive threat and of course it needs a more bulk to its repertoire if it needs to be a more defensive threat. That said, Levitate do alleviate, as stated before, a bit of other issues here and overall it does also alleviate yourself from sticky web, toxic spikes and regular spikes. It's a really strong niche with Lonaton. But what makes Lonaton really interesting is a special attack that it does represent because Lonaton has a really strange variation which makes it a very viable offensive threat. Lonaton actually in generation 7 got a fair boost in its move pool until generation 7 Lonaton was unable to learn the lies of power gym and was heavily reliant on ancient power from generation 4 in the Colosseum game until then it couldn't get that and that's a major flaw the reason for that is because of one other move being moonlight which was a dream world ability move they can all be gone in generation 5 you couldn't have a special attack in the rock variation and moonlight at the same time you can this in this generation which is really really good because this means that all of a sudden lonaton becomes a pokemon that can actually recover can capitalize on life orb and has a specially orientated power gem which is really good overall though we have psy shock moon blast rock polish one of the better sweeping moves you can capitalize on that another really strong setup move is cosmic power it can definitely fill a defensive role and we say with 
Moonlight that really works quite right. We also have Coal Mine. If you want to be the physical threat and actually hit something from special orientated side, you can go for a dual dash rock polish and coal mine and be a very, very strong threat overall. Future Sight works really great with C move or if you're an AV set, since Lonatone has such a high special defense already of 85. Assault Vest really does resolve any defensive capabilities this Pokemon can actually focus on and basically become a really strong threat. Uh, we also have a really strong Ice Beam and Blizzard, which is a very strong niche for a rock type to be having. And I stated, C move, big factor. Shadow Ball, Charge Beam works great with Assault Vest version I stated before. Future Side, Charge Beam, Booster Special Attack, great. Grass Nod, same thing here, strong niche for actually a Pokemon that are primarily a rock type. Trick Room, always great if you don't want to capitalize on your speed. Magic Coat, be able to bounce back hazards and anything else towards you. Yeah, that's great. Um, definitely like that it comes to a suicide lead to be able to actually punish your opponent. Earth Power, great combination with your rock type. This is one of the few specially oriented rock Pokemon that actually has that combination of Earth Power and um, Power Gem. The other one being actually Dianchi, so it's a really rare threat or a combination to be as a whole. Single Beam is also there, Pain Split, not as viable anymore due to Moonlight, and of course Stealth Rock. Being levitating to get with Stealth Rock makes you a um, pretty much a decent possible clay duel if you want to capitalize on that. Uh, Stealth Rock is a decent variation for Lonaton. I think it serves other roles better, but it can do the other part too. Best at a Lonaton, in my opinion, due to this generation, is actually capitalizing on Power Gem, ICMC, Ice Beam, Earth Power, or Psy Shock to get it with Moonlight and having a life orb. Though the combination do speak for Rock Polish variations, still being really, really, really strong, and I highly recommend that too. But overall, Lonatone is a really strange threat because it has a lot of mood to do a lot of things really well. And I definitely would see this Pokemon as a really interesting Pokemon in a uh, League concept. It definitely isn't as strong, I would say, in the Smogon tiers, and it has because there are a lot of things to watch out for. But this Pokemon definitely can capitalize on a lot of situations. It just stands at holding a battle a little bit. But overall, I say that once a rock plush is behind you or you're able to defense check a lot of things, Moonlight and of course to get a life for makes Lonaton a really, really strong threat. So with that said, we're also going to talk about Salt Rock, which are very much like Lonaton, but just peaks a different thing in serial already. So that said, we have 19 its HP. The special attack and special defense are split with its attack set from Lona Tones, with 95 and 85 representatively in its offensive stats, and in special attack with 55 and 65 6 special defense. Then the same thing here, 70 base speed, and as I said before, it's a good speed here for being a defensive rock type, and that's definitely not going to go away, but consider that this Pokemon is to be stated as a more offensive threat, it is unfortunate that it also just represents the 70 base speed, which will mean you are forced to actually set up with Rock Polish if you so desire to be able to capitalize on some hits. And since you're not especially defensively that active, Assault Pets is a fair option for Soul Rock and is able to capitalize on that if you want to. But as yeah, I stated, it's good bulk for a defensive Rock type and it's a good speed for a defensive Rock type, but it needs to fill both roles depending on how you want to view this Pokemon. Therefore, let's cover its move pool overall. Soul Rock got a really fair actually changed in Generation 7 with actually getting access to Flare Blitz. This was something it didn't have before, until then it didn't have any physical fire type move. And consider that Lonaton had Ice Part, it's really unfortunate that it took a few generations actually to figure that out. Until then, Solrock unfortunately had flame, Flamethrower and Overheat in his repertoire and it wasn't just as good. That said, Morning Sun has always been a viable option due to Dream World ability and unlike Lonaton, didn't necessarily need Asian power because it had Stone Edge already. So actually, Solrock turned out quite right and definitely had a hand over Lonatone in some regards. On that said, of course, we're going to cover its move pool. We have Heal Block, Stone Edge, Cosmic Power here also, Earthquake, really good to get a combination of Stone Edge, Will O Wisp is a fair option. Um, definitely for a more defensive Solrock to be able to burn and become naturally more bulkier. It is unfortunate though that that focus isn't on special defense. I think that would have actually worked better. Reflect, always quite right. Overheat works great with a wide turbo combination with Acrobatics, which is really good. Flare Blitz did actually let's say, boost some aspect of Solrock. Acrobatics had that covered already with of course, being able to deal with grass type fairly all right. That said, it's still a really cool option. Rock Polish, 
always relevant if you're gonna go for more sweeping variant. Explosion, always great. Grass, not great filler. Stone Edge again, my mistake. Iron Head, uh, Serious here also, good filler if you don't want to capitalize on Earthquake. So I would say Earthquake is better. Magic Coat, always a good thing, of course. Being able to bounce back, Hazard and whatnot. Uh, Senate Bat is your only source of physical psychic stab damage, and I say it works quite right. While Solar doesn't necessarily need it, it's still great that it can actually pull something about it. Solar didn't get this till generation 5, so I had to wait two generations to actually not well, be forced to use psychic, and that's kind of scary when you think about it. Pain Split works great with Soul Rock, definitely better with Soul Rock than it does on Lunatone. However, I say Morning Sun is still better. And then we have Self Rock, always relevant to it with the likes of Recycle. Uh, Recycle is great because of the Figure Berry variant. Uh, being able to go for Rock Polish. Um, unfortunately, I should say that it has an Eglogony, at the same time, Levitate is still always the better option. The best set on Soul Rock, however, is actually a broad variety of them. I would say the absolute best one is the Rock Polish variant with C Stone Edge and have filler of Earthquake, Flare Blitz, or Earthquakes and Headbutt. Uh, the artwork is fairly alright. I would say the biggest issue with Soul Rock is that it doesn't have a way to actually boost its uh, attacking stat any much more than it already have, forcing it to often run Adamant to be able to actually do the hefty amount of damage. If you cavalry yourself and go for Jolly, there is very unlikely you will do a good amount of damage. I also see the naive version to get with the likes of Grass not to be able to actually deal with the likes of Oma Star, for example, which I say is a fair option. Consider that you actually have speed and before actually going for Shell Smash. So overall, I say Solrock got a really cool boost in this generation and a really great Pokemon overall. You, you, like I said it here, it's not very often you see Pokemon like this being able to deal with them. Primal Groudon, and I feel it was really cool to see the Solrock's niche capabilities and of course with Morning Sun and whatnot really did push the bond of what this Pokemon can be. However, this dialogue gonna bond down to which one of these two really are better and that is debatably up in the air right now. And mainly because it actually capitalized on both of his stabs without being nerfed down to be choosing between recovery possibly or of course being actually forced around the likes of Asian power like Lonatone. That said, Lonatone's biggest issue has been resolved. It has a stronger special attack, while not stronger stab-wise than Solrog. It is still a very fair option with Power Gym and of course being able to get the likes of recovery. And there is where that all kind of boils down to. I think Lonatone has a broader move pool to be able to capitalize on with a special side and with Calm Mind also able to use that special attack stat in so many other ways than Solar really can do. Therefore, in this dialogue, Lonatone due generation 7's boost in Lonatone makes it overall the better Pokemon between these two. So is that Solrog is definitely the better stealth rock between these two, but Lonatone is better at everything else. Um, Psychic and Rock is definitely a lot better offensively on the special side, and while Power Gem isn't as hard hitting as Stone Edge, it still is more safer. And since the combination of Lonaton actually having Blister and Ice Beam and being able to capitalize on Ice Beam C variant and Call Mind, there really aren't that many things Solrock can put up with that Lonaton cannot. And of course, with a Salt Vest Charge Beam variant with you know everything that has to go in for Lonaton is a more interesting threat than Solrock is. And of course, with the fixture of Generation 7, it really just became better than Solrock. Well, I think these are both interesting and I want to see more of them in the future. I can definitely, I respect why people aren't using them, but I encourage you guys to do just that. And definitely with the Dream World abilities or a move in Moonlight, I think the Life Orb variant of uh, Lonatone is really scary. And I think people are missing out of it, but not using it because it's able to do a hefty amount of work and, you know, as stated already, ice and earth based damage are one of the best combinations in the game and being able to have that to get with stab rock, yeah, that's scary. That's very hard to deal head on with and being that Lonatone can actually represent that, yeah, it's a very, very rare combination. So with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode and what do you guys think? Which of these two do you think the best and do tell which stories you have about these two because I know they aren't talked nearly enough as they should be. And with that said, upcoming month here, we're going to cover four Pokemon that you guys are very, very aware of, the Regis. So with that said, I'll see you next week when we're going to see Regis versus...